hablamos. Right guys, welcome to another episode of the Super Canaries, part of our Germany tour and today we are again visiting JP and he's going to show us the museum. <laughs> JP's museum, take two I think it is. <laughs> Whatever. Manta. Also a beautiful era in racing this. Yeah. And very different, rear wheel drive car, but everybody Walter Wuerl is one of the greatest guys you know. Yes. And you know him with this car, right? But he also drove this car. Yes, I saw that just now. It's yeah. like, oh my gosh, you stand this close to such amazing history. Yeah, and this car behind you is for me the, 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 the biggest thing in the whole museum because this is the IMSA GTO. When you see the videos, and everybody watched these videos on YouTube, when you hear the sound, Long Beach where it races in LA, the car that you see there in the video is this car. Oh. Oh. Do you want to have a quick peek in here? Right. Wow. So this is the, the, the really true sound machine. There's no better sound on this planet than this car makes. And um, also for me, the, the most attractive race car. I think the, the weight, the, the fatness, the, the wheels. The bulges. Yeah, it's in, in the exhaust <laughs> on the side. The shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's so cool and big. Yikes. And we made everything work for people who like to make videos and pictures. So you see that the underneath the um, it's it lit. is exactly. The, it, I, I was admiring that before because a lot of it would just go lost. And exactly. as you said before, you can actually so now it's made look underneath when you the take car. your phone and you take a picture, you will get a great look at this. You just you know you're not a picture guy. Yeah, you just clean your lens. Yeah, yeah. You go like this, and you go like this. You see this? Yeah. And this looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What in also the name of gorgeous red things? Yes, this is the Chinese engine. It was planned that it comes to Germany. It's a VR6 engine turbocharged. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese market has it, but we never got it. But um, they, produ they, they, they really showed 2014 this engine already, and everybody was hyped. Yeah. But at the end, we didn't get it. <laughs> uh, yuh, 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 yuh. This car is also made for Gran Turismo. And in Gran Turismo, when you play the game, you see the car from the rear above. And that's why the spoiler is so big in that position. That's why the grill is also in that position, that from the angle it works. Mm -hmm. So when you can I have the camera, when you look at it from here, mm -hmm. you see the normal car, but the car is meant that you see it from a higher angle, from that angle. Yeah. That was the whole idea behind it, because you play it. <laughs> it yes. was not planned that yes. you drive it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How did you get this? <laughs> I saved it because um, the red one and the white one, they were planned to be crushed. And um, I have very good friends and, and all these nice big brands. And so I talked with them. And then I said, you know what, let's try to give this cars another life. <laughs> they but are, the, but they the, museum, are, the museum changes and rotates all the time. They are in heaven. Yeah, yeah, right. This is very special, actually. Uh, Nick Heidfeld is a, also a very close friend of mine and um, this car is from him, also from BMW actually. Yes. But engine, gearbox, ECU, steering wheel and this is what you don't see normally. So this car would drive right now. <laughs> Tempting. Yeah. <laughs> What's the weight of this roughly? 605. Kilos. 605 kilograms. With <laughs> it's got more horsepower and a than power. it has kilos. And A power, natural aspirated power. Wow. 
Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I would say now we go downstairs. Yes. Downstairs, we have to be careful what we film, but we go downstairs and then okay. we, we start. <laughs> so this is uh, this are some of my cars here. And I only use the space to storage them in the moment because it's closed. But the idea is that people who come here or normal fans from Germany, they can vote on an Instagram site and they can place their car in the museum. So you can be proud that you are in the same museum, the same building, like an IMSA GTO or like Formula One cars. And I'm not deciding it. The people decide it. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, again. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh. Oh. Also very, very strong. You can see the, yeah. <laughs> the turbocharger. Just a little bit of horsepower. And the car next to it is, I know that your, your colleague is with you. He's a very big fan. In this moment, when I take this off, he will just die. Okay, so we need to get him on the camera. Uh, come, oh, come in. Come in. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. R34 wow. GTR, and this is also a thousand HP. <laughs> and the condition, as you can see, is perfect right i'm in the moment in contact with a very known formula one guy who wants to who wants me to buy one for him in the beginning he contacted me over instagram said yeah i'm, I'm interest, interested in buying a gtr and i thought the r35 and then we talked and then he said yeah yeah and uh and right hand drive i said why right hand drive you can have him left hand drive no 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 i want an r34 and i was so surprised that a young guy like this is really interested in something like this Oh, yeah. beautiful. It Absolutely is. <laughs> stunning. Yeah. It's yeah. And uh, you can always see when, when something is, is, is stopped, you, you know, I, li I really like it. Yes. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Yeah. This is what I meant before. This yeah. absolutely looks like the Batmobile's little sister. Yeah. This is our own first car that, that I designed and that we built. It's a KTM motorcock. Yes. And then we make the wheelbase longer and it's a 2.7 liter RS4 engine in the rear that makes in the moment around 600 HP but the weight is 800 kilos so it, it drives really extreme and also concerning downforce and everything yeah. touch, touch it here Whoa. and now touch it there so all this the stones everything that the car produces so much drag even the tires or, and the tires throw up all the stones yes when we were filming the car from the distance you always we were thinking what's wrong with the, with the lens from the camera something is wrong with the camera and there's always a black smoke over the car and following it the car we thought it's broken the, the, the lens yes, is broken yes. but it's always the, the smoke and everything the car just pushes up everything that's on the ground oh my gosh it's so crazy wow Epic. Then here's a E36 V8. Uh, <laughs> Our photographer's fainting. Okay. Yeah. No, I, and I like E36 really a lot. And um, the condition is not too great in the moment. We have, we have to put some work in it. That's why it's here locked up. Not too. Uh, it's. it's technically perfect but yes. body work and color is not perfect and it has a 4.4 uh, liter BMW V8 manual inside so that's a pretty strong is that an old M5 engine no it's the 540 engine 540 yes the 540 engine so this is my first car not originally my first car but it's the original license plate yes and my employees gave me that uh, for my 40th birthday oh. and it was a very nice story because I drove home and they were hiding in the garage and the car was standing in my place and I parked the car and I tried to park the car and the car was there and that was yeah very emotional base because for me 
I grew up with, with really no money. This was for me everything. Yeah. And then I saw the license plate, I saw the car, and it was for me like a time machine. I thought, what's, what's, what's this? And it was so difficult, yeah. And I still drive it. I still drive it. And I love to drive it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. ah, so then special. next to it, E46 M3, a complete conversion to a CSL mm -hmm. with roof. And with the airbox, everything is inside and very, very fast, very, very strong. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The induction noise in these yeah. cars is so, so beautiful. Sexy. That is so sexy. And also how the sound changes. Mm -hmm. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, yes. 5,000. Yes, I love it. Yeah, love yeah, I love it. Rock. I really love Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Just so beautiful. These are the masterpieces of yesteryear. You want to see a real masterpiece? I'm game. Okay, then look, look inside this car now. And the rear. No way. And we found out that the German law says this is a bicycle. <laughs> Can we drive it? Uh, not right now. No, the chain is off again because we have to change it to, change it to a, a motorbike chain. But then we can drive it. Can yeah. you see that on the camera? This is a bicycle. What was, what was the 100 to 200? Ah, uh, long. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, fabulous, yeah. absolutely just brilliant. Ooh, fantastic. The story behind here, it wasn't a Black Series. We built it with original parts from Mercedes. We changed the whole walls, everything, to a Black Series Mercedes, but with OEM parts, not with aftermarket parts. This is all built with original parts. And um, what I still think that the outside of the car is still attractive and still modern, yeah. but the interior is terrible. Okay. So we changed the seats to the podium Recaro seats. What is, I think, the most modern seat you can buy in the moment? Stunning. And then we changed the display to the modern one, even with the, um, the computer system. So it looks like an A-Class from 2021. So everything is modern inside. And then the car, whole car switches. It, it, the, 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 the navigation system, the seats, everything makes it new now. So it's for us the modern version of a Black Series. <laughs> it's comfortable, right? Ah. Once you're inside, this is comfortable. There's quite a uh, quite a fair bit of padding on mm -hmm. here, not like with the uh, McLaren bucket seats. Although I do find them very comfortable as well. But this is actually good, and they they it's fixed. It's one yeah yeah it's solid. only one piece. Wow, tremendous! Oh, and the smell in here. Mm. <laughs> For me, the Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think this is really a very very cool car, and as you can see, it's dirty because I, I just drove it on Sunday. Yeah. And um, I am still a Porsche guy, hundred percent. But this car, I don't know. It 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 changed everything a little bit. Because on, on a nice weather Sunday Saturday, normally I go and take my 964 Turbo. Yeah. Now it happens that I take this one. Oh. I just enjoy it. I listen to the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Yeah. You know? And, and I have a good time. What I love about your garage so far is that the RS6 is probably the newest car here. Otherwise, yeah. All no, of the Taycan. Or the Taycan. But they're all older cars. Yeah, absolutely. But so sympathetic, how do you say that in English? Sympathetic. It's sweet. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. No, this car is very nice and we have two more cars and it's standing next to a car that you're not allowed to see. So this will be very difficult. Uh, so let me think. We can, we can uh, just, just keep that 
angle and walk this way. Pop, 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 pull up. Mm -hmm. Super oof. Super oof. This 964 turbo is condition A, or, or one. It's it's a it's a hundred percent perfect, and it's rebuilt with new parts completely. May I? Yeah. Because <clears throat> the smell in this car now will be. Pretty cool, huh? There's so much happening in the brain just through the smell. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's true. Five speed manual. And this oh. is the true Widowmaker. This is the one that I mistaked for the one upstairs. Yeah, this is the beast. This, this, is, is, yeah. this is the. A friend of mine in South Africa has had one and he actually rebuilt the non turbo. He bought the non turbo and rebuilt it into a turbo look mm -hmm. it's because he doesn't want to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> He said, if you're in the corner with no. the wrong RPA, uh, RPMs and you happen to put your foot down in the wrong direction, then you have to know what you're doing. Yes. Otherwise, then he says that was it. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Very, very picky. Fitting that it's in black then, the Widowmaker. And now the last car is my lovely 993. And now it comes to a very special thing. It is not an RS, but it's an RS clone. Okay but it is with the X51 kit, so it has the RS engine. So it is a 3.8 liter, which is very rare. It's a 3.8 liter, and then the body fits as an RS body. So it's, 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 it's a very, very special, rare, rare model. Absolutely profound. The rear is just so superfluous. <laughs> Whew. And the right height is also cool. Was this the, uh, the one that was in Bad Boys? No, this is the Bad Boys. That was the one in Bad Boys. Mother. So I can hear he's not really the Porsche guy. I said I'm not into the tuning business okay, and stuff okay, like okay, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I love Porsche. I love Porsche. I'm just not into all the facts that much. No, that's, a, that's a, a very cool car and I was looking long time to get a nice 3.8 yeah. because normally the old 3.6 was also great, but to get a 3.8 in that condition, very nice. Epic. Really epic. That's beautiful. The and also cage in the back. What I do sometimes, I take friends here and everybody picks a car and then we drive together. Whew. And for me, it's, I enjoy it more to see them drive yes. than driving myself. Wow. Because then sometimes I just sit on the passenger seat and watch them drive. <laughs> no, I, I really, I really enjoy it. And we Gorgeous. did this just on Sunday uh, with the 355 and this one, and it was just great. We had a great time. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Really? And this is pretty much the museum. Yeah. Wow. It is just tremendous. It is absolutely tremendous. At a loss for words. Peoples, we've come to the end of our episode and the end of the series with JP. It has been the most tremendous and absolute pleasure. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Thank you very, thank very you, much. You. No, it was thank also a pleasure so for me. Much. Very kind, very nice person. Thank you and, so much. And uh, I Deeply feel how much. It respect you have for cars and uh, I enjoyed the time together. Thank you so much. I hope it's not the last time. I'm very sure lovely not. to see you again. Thank you so much. And on that note, adios. Bye bye.